So what are some things you look for in a man? Oh, they have to be honest. She's beautiful, I'm not shallow, so I want to hear what she was talking about. She's very pretty, I like the dress. You know, orange is a nice color on you. I wanted to hear you, I get to know you better. Confident. You have muscles. Yeah, it looks like you work out. Do you typically like wear this attire or? Uh, genuinely so, I'm from Michigan, I'm a country boy. Um, really secure in themselves. Do you typically like wear this attire? I dab her down like everybody else and shit, but I don't care about society's norms. I look good. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna wear what I'm gonna wear. Hello, welcome in. Hi. What's your name? Raja. Raja, how yes. old are you? I'm 24 years old. And what do you do? I'm a law student. Okay, nice. Uh, what are some things I can do for fun? I love to travel. I like to journal. I like to walk my dog. And I like to just be really adventurous um, and have fun with my partner. Okay, mm -hmm. nice. Um, speaking of partners, what are some things you look for in a man? Oh, they have to be honest, okay. confident, um, really secure in themselves. Mm -hmm. Um, able to compromise, okay. and we have shared values and beliefs. Got it, got it. Yes. And now, what are some of your deal breakers? If you don't like dogs, like, <laughs> my dog is my everything. So if you don't like dogs, let me know that now. Okay. <laughs> um, what else? Someone who's a narcissist mm -hmm. um, and somebody who's not a decision maker. They have other people make their decisions, such as their family, friends, somebody on the street. Like, I just need you to be a man. Got it. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. All right, so we don't have any balloons popped, so I'm actually going to switch it on over to you, and I'm going to hand you a pick. So <laughs> there you go. And I am going to have you pop, hmm, let's go with two balloons. Okay. Based off of what you're seeing, you know, who may not really be your type, whatever it is, go ahead and pop those two balloons. Okay. Okay. Okay, one more. All right, let's start right on over here. Okay. Name and age? John, I'm 31. Okay, and now John, you did have your balloon unpopped, why so? She's beautiful, I'm not shallow, so I wanted to hear what she was talking about, you feel me? But, I mean, she's a nice little young, young woman, so I approach her. Okay, got it. <laughs> and now why you end up popping his balloon? Um, you see your name is John? Yeah. Well, John, you look really nice. No, you don't. Come on, no, you don't. <laughs> If you look really nice, there's no way they'd pop on you, you know what I'm saying? It's, they pop on you because you don't look nice. Um, just there wasn't like an initial attraction, I would say, but you seem sweet. He seems sweet, that's because after he gave you the compliment, but beforehand, we know you were judging him based on his appearance. You were being super shallow about it. Don't lie, tell the truth. Respect it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and then we did pop one more. Let's head on over here. Your name and age. How you doing? My name is Nazi. I'm 25 years old. Okay. And Nati, why did you have your balloon unpopped? She's very pretty. I like the dress. You know, orange is a nice color on you. Thank you. Uh, I just wanted to hear you. I get to know you better. Okay, got it, got it. Now, why do we end up popping his? Well, I would say the same thing. Like, you do look nice. No, <laughs> you don't. Just tell them how it is. They don't look nice. That's why you pop on them. Because if somebody look nice, you ain't going to pop on them like that. You know what I mean? Something has to stand out for you to go and, like, pop, right? So it has to be that physical attraction. So yeah they don't look nice to you um really friendly just there wasn't like initial attraction again okay. but you seem fine <laughs> yeah aka in other words you look ugly as shit. that's what she said all right cool they really care. respectable <laughs> okay next round i'm gonna go ahead and have you ask these guys a question just to help you narrow it down okay so guys how should the roles and responsibilities be shared in a household Okay, let's start with your name and age, and how should the roles be shared? Uh, my name is Dante, I'm 25. Uh, the roles in the household, I grew up in a traditional household, so dad works and stuff like that, grinds out, makes sure the home is taken care of, the kids are taken care of and stuff like that. Mom does what she's great at, which is nurturing and stuff like that, you feel me? Taking mm -hmm. care of making sure when I come home, everybody's taking care of my kids and stuff like that, making sure she's good. I gotta make sure, hey, if something's not right, yo, let me go take care of that and stuff like that and bring it back home. But I'm very traditional, very, extremely, actually. Okay. Yeah. Name and age and the answer to her question. My name's Ryan, I'm 26. Mm -hmm. And I'll echo that. I'm very traditional as well. So as the man, I would be taking the stereotypical man role where being the breadwinner. And if there's something wrong with the lawnmower, that's on me, um, it's not on you. Uh, I'm carrying in all the groceries, like stuff like that. And then again, assuming we had a family, I would want my wife to be the one leading the 
uh, nurturing of the children and educating them and stuff like that. And hopefully she can cook as well. That would be a great bonus because I cannot cook for shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Your name and age and the answer to her question. Chris, 27. And I'll say I grew up in a single mom household, so I'm still learning as I go within my, all the relationships I've been through. So, yeah, I usually do take on a more traditional role, like take care of, you know, if she's staying with me, take care of the bills, taking care of the, the manly stuff, like you said, like all the, like the changing the tire, taking out the trash, all of that. But as far as, like, monetarily, like I grew up seeing my mom do it all, you know, so I need another woman that can – she doesn't have to do it all, but she had to be able to do something, you know? Mm-hmm. I do like a little Miss Independent a little bit. Okay. All right, name and age and answer to your question. I'm Trey, 25. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've seen both done uh, effectively in terms of both partners working and one partner, uh, I had a stay-at-home mom later in my life. So I really believe in what does the home need? Like uh-huh. that's between the two people to understand. Like you, for example, you're in law school that's a very high paying job. It'd be, it'd be crazy of me to ask you to, to sacrifice that entirely and not chase after this dream. Cause law school is a lot, that's high school, college, and some old school, some old school. <laughs> and so I believe in understanding like, hey, tonight might not be uh, a you night to wash dishes. Tonight might not be a, a, a you night to, to, to set up everything for the kids. Cause I, I, I'll be honest, I can change a tire. I have AAA and it works though. <laughs> and so I would much rather not now, if it's hot, me and Phoenix, like, I, if need be, but my AAA works. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, yeah, I believe, in, I believe in modernity, and I believe in, like, progressing those roles. They don't have to be static like they were in the past. Okay. okay that's good. And then we did get a pop. Mm-hmm. Let's head down over here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Yeah, I'm Key, 28. Uh, I pop just because, uh, you know, she's a law student. Uh, that's a lot of time. You know, I'm, I'm a business owner, mm-hmm. and so you've been a law student, like, my time is limited. Your time is going to be limited. That's a lot of school and everything, trying to build a family and whatnot. Uh, and then also, I mean, you're a pretty woman. Mm-hmm. Just not really, uh, just not too attracted. But, mm-hmm. I mean, you don't look bad at all. <laughs> no, is he someone that's your type? Um, you look decent, but, I mean, like, you're decent. Like, okay. It looked like you tried. Um. <laughs> hey, that's what's up. <laughs> She's trying to roast him low key, eh? trying to say like you look decent but she, he's not her type and i think that might just all be due to the fact that he just popped on her right he's not attracted to her so she she gonna give him the same taste of his medicine back all right <laughs> yeah you're decent okay cool cool, cool. it's all good thank you all right. <laughs> okay and we did get a pop back here why did we end up popping so if we look in long term you know building mm-hmm. a family i'm a little taller you know nothing gets the short queens i love the short queens <laughs> But see, you just look like you're like five foot, maybe. So like it's a little, you know, so I like I'm like a little taller. Hey, yo, my boy. <clears throat> so you know that, right? Like, I'm pretty sure you knew that from the beginning, from the get-go, right? So why didn't you pop the first minute you seen her, right? Like she came out, she didn't go down an inches throughout the show, right? Like you seen her height off the bat and it tied was such a big factor for you. You should have popped right off the bat, man. You know, some of these things they come up with, it's like, it's ridiculous. It's like, man, you would have thought that somebody would have at least kept uh, kept that in mind that you know height is a big requirement for them when it comes to you know relationships and building a family and all but he had his balloon up and standing till halfway through the shows he brings his concern well, five six five eight got it got it <laughs> now is he someone that's your type um you see how she took a long break as well she was just trying to think of shit to say you know like she doesn't want to give him that compliment like of course he's her type like all the bad you know when they take that long to decide you already know you are but now she gotta find something to reject you on you look fine but like for a partner i'm looking for someone more like i don't know more dapper dapper mm-hmm. okay got it yeah. i'll be putting it on i ain't gonna lie like <laughs> I wear a suit, so I just, you know, it's cool, though. Okay, got it. it so. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so we do have two left, guys. Oh, I'm sorry, three. You keep hiding that <laughs> balloon. <laughs> All right, so we have three mm-hmm. left. Uh, go ahead and ask these guys another question. Okay. What are some qualities that you look for in a partner? Okay. What are some qualities you look for? Uh, number one's major is respect. Um, I don't care really about the love and everything. 
Respect comes with honesty, communication, everything else and stuff like that. If you're going to respect me, you're going to do what's right at the end of the day. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So at first and then, just like rappers say, I don't want luck, loyalty, da da. I want respect. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I grew up on that. Respect my father, respect my coaches, respect the pastors and shit, respect the homeless people when I go to give stuff out for community service and shit like that. You mm -hmm. feel me? It's just a different thing. Growing up, like, I used to be look big and shit like that. People didn't respect me. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Like, they overlooked me and shit like So it's just something deeper. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. Um, stole my answer. Respect first, but I'll, I'll add to that. I also think someone who's peaceful. I'm looking just for someone who can be my peace because I go through stressful situations. Mm, that's key phrase that peaceful. Mm -hmm. A lot of women are not peaceful. Let me tell you that, man. <laughs> I mean, the first three months of a relationship, sure, but come on. After the honeymoon phase is over, you all know what goes on in those relationships, man. <laughs> the, whole, the whole bickering back and forth. You guys know it all. And I've got my own stuff going on. So having a woman do what she does best, which is be like that peaceful, feminine energy. Mm -hmm. That's what I care most about. Okay. All right. Let's head on over here. Name and age. No, just answer the question. Sure, already got your name. And make it make it show. <laughs> uh, I believe versatility, mm -hmm. ambition, and empathy are, are really important for a partner because I don't. I was talking about modernity earlier. I don't believe in one thing. I don't believe in like a, a single track mind. I don't believe in somebody not wanting to venture out and be broad and trying. And you said you were adventurous, so that's already yeah. that's already a check. But mm -hmm. along with that, I need somebody that loves God and not just like, oh, God is cool, woody, 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 but what's your sign? No, I need somebody that, that loves God for real, for real. And so if you don't have that, just go ahead. Yeah. But all three, all four of those things. Yeah, I'm a believer. So. Hey Amen. Come on yes. now. Eba. <laughs> <All right. laughs> okay, it is time to pop a oh, balloon. I can ask another question. No. Oh. Let's go ahead and pop. <laughs> okay, what do we end up popping his? Well, you have muscles. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, it looks like you work out. <laughs> I appreciate um, you. It look like he doesn't really work out, but it look like you work out. <laughs> God damn! It. Of course, you wear that. You can see that. You can tell. Do you typically like wear this attire, or? Uh, genuinely, so I'm from Michigan. I'm a country boy. You know oh. what I'm saying? So, Royce, I want to go back to the country and shit. But I dabber down like everybody else and shit. But I don't care about society's norms. I look good. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna wear what I'm gonna wear. Yeah. You feel me? Okay, that was really. I just had a tire. pop some one the other. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I like now, your answer. Though. Is she someone that's your type? Uh, yes, for sure, hundred percent. You feel me? Like I, on a little bit. I wanted to hear her out, what she's really gonna say and stuff like that. And, you know, see how good she's gonna articulate uh, her answers and stuff like that. You see the death in it and stuff like that. But she's did well, did very well. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah. All right. So our two remaining guys. Any questions for our good lady? Yes. Um, what is oh, your? Oh, she's asking. Okay. Oh, go ahead. Oh, it's okay. You can ask. <laughs> <laughs> you were ready. Oh. Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> well, I was going to ask for you guys occupations. Okay. Occupations. Mm -hmm. Um, I own two different media companies, so making YouTube videos and stuff like that is really the main gig. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then okay. while we're here, any questions for her? I was going to ask. What do you think your life's purpose is? My life's purpose. Well, I would say because I'm in law school, I went to law school because I want to help disadvantaged communities and just get them out of the situations that they're in. For instance, instance, I do want to go into criminal law and be a prosecutor or a defender, um, especially within my community in the Cleveland neighborhood. So I just really want to give back. Are you, is that where you live, Cleveland? Or Yes, I'm from Cleveland. Okay. Yes, we're I had that Indians oh. hat, <laughs> but I'm still going to pipe. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, like, I got that Indian hat over here, but you know what? I'm going to still pop. <laughs> um, I, I got to pop it, sorry. Because um, that's too far for me. Okay. Yeah. Where are you from? I live in LA. Oh. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. All right. Thank you. Let's head on over here. And then what was, what, what do you do? Yes. And then if you have any questions for her. Got you. Uh, I'm a development project manager at a tech company uh, right now. And then question I have for you. I was going to ask something similar to purpose, mm -hmm. but 
what is something that your friends would say two years ago you struggled with, but you've made significant growth in today? Wow. I would question. say <laughs> that they would say that I struggle with like moving on from situations that no longer serve me. So I feel like I really developed from that today. Um, just being able to put the past behind me, look towards the future, know that there's better things happening, better things to come for me. And I feel like they would really respect that. Like she's able to boss up, move on and be a better person. Okay. All right. All right. Let me have you. Come on up. Come on up. Let's walk back over here, y'all. Come on. <laughs> All right, y'all. So any final questions between the two of you before we determine if this is a match? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So mm -hmm. just and keep it a bill. Mm -hmm. Am I fine to you? Like, okay. like fine. <laughs> like I like I'm going I'm walking into your church and and your 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 deaconesses looking at oh. okay. <laughs> I think you are attractive, for sure. When, when is she going straight forward with it? Like, she got to just answer, yes or no. Um, I like your outfit. I like the way that you carried yourself. Thank you. Um, I like that you listened to my answers. Of course. Um, you're a great listener. Um, but you said, like, fine. Like, I spot yeah. you out, and I'm like, ooh, I want him. Yeah. Not necessarily, but, you know, my types do change when I look at the person's personality and how they present themselves but but you say you still find him attractive yes he's attractive yeah why you look at me like that because you looking for a reason to pop nah. <laughs> no I, I'm, I'm a sucker for a middle part now i ain't gonna uh, lie to you like, I, 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 I tell you what okay but all right let's go good all right so then with that being said is it gonna be a yes for you for her yes lord <laughs> and is it a yes for you for him Wow, <laughs> why, is she, why is she stuck? Why is she frozen? Is she buffering or what? I think there's internet connection right now problems. <laughs> internet ain't working. Mm. You said? Oh, no, I was... Is it a yes for you for him? <laughs> okay, what's what happened? Why? He ended well, up popping. I just feel like... Maybe for me, it wasn't like an immediate yes. And I feel like we're in a relationship. You need that like immediate, like, yeah, like I want him, like, let's go. But oh, that's why I asked that what I asked. Yeah, yeah, I just, the environment. Like, maybe it could progress to that, but not. Just I agree. Initially. I mean, the environment, this environment is made for like stuff yeah, like that. Exactly. I just want you to be sure that this is something that like, you're not mm -hmm. going to go home two weeks later and go back home and be like, he not really even that cute. Like, yeah. I don't, that's not for Trey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you. You can head right. back over there. All right, well, that is all the popped balloons, but we do thank you for coming on. I'll take this mic, thank you. and let's go ahead and give it up for her, guys. Damn, look at that. I mean, he really did try to uh, weed her out of it, right? That's why he asked that question, but I guess she was trying to portray, like, you know, she was saying, like, yo, my types will usually change within time, blah, blah, blah. You know, it seemed like she was trying to win him over, and in the end, she's like, yeah, he's not my type. It's like, okay, why would you give all that answer off the bat, right? Um... <clears throat> Another thing is, I feel like she's too picky for her own good. Like, you know, if you give him a chance, probably within a couple of weeks to a month, definitely you would have known. You would have been like, you know what? I wasn't feeling him like that much at the beginning, but now I am after getting to know what kind of person he is, the activities we've done, you know, how he takes everything. You know what I'm saying? Right? Like some of these things take time, right? But that's the thing women don't really have patience for they don't really want to give time to right so i mean yeah it's her loss man i, I mean she keep thinking like grass is greener on that side i mean you ain't gonna find nothing they ain't even gonna be a gnome on that on that grass over there <laughs> it is what it is leave a comment subscribe let me know what y'all thought about it do you think uh it's her loss or is it his loss or what's up anyways it is what it is see you on the next one easy